Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichiChicken.com here with another amazing and very exciting Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, before I get into my tutorial, I just want to very quickly point out my new desktop background. I got a lot of submissions from all kinds of different people and they were all different, but this one right here definitely takes the cake. It's got a lot going on and I just kind of love like the feel and everything that's going on with it. And the guy that made this, he didn't give me his name, but he gave me his YouTube channel. And it's this guy right here, uh, youtube.com slash ascentification. And I don't know, the, I just want to give this guy some major props on the, the background. I don't know if he made it from scratch or if he used like some different images or what, but the way it was put together was very, very well done and I like it a lot. And I think you should take that skill and incorporate it into your own YouTube background because it's looking kind of simple to say the least, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, you do, do what you do. <laughs> I, I in, in the end, I just really enjoy the, the desktop background they made for me. So thank you very much for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Uh, today we're going over how to customize your Windows sound scheme because people have noticed that my sound scheme is different. So I got like swishes and like booms and such like that. And it's actually really simple to do. Uh, so let me get my little bar over here so you can see what we're doing. And all we're gonna do is go to our start menu, go to the control panel, go to hardware and sound, and then click on sound. And then in this little menu that comes up, just go to the sounds tab. And then you'll see that there's a list right here of all the sounds in Windows. And you can customize every single one of them. And the way that you do that is actually really simple. All you do is you click on a sound, and right here under the word sounds, it sh uh, shows the um, like the name of the sound that's there and a little drop down of like all the other sounds that are in that folder. And then you can actually test that sound by clicking this little button right here. Sound kind of familiar? <laughs> so you can literally just uh, figure out what sound is what, and then you click the browse icon and you just uh, browse to whatever sound you want to use, select it, and that's it. So um, the sounds that I actually used uh, are ones that I found randomly all over the internet. Like I don't even remember what I searched for, but I compiled everything into one folder. And I, that folder of sounds and stuff like that is something that I actually put up on our website and it's available to download. So let's just go ahead and bring that up. Yeah, see, you people want that boom sound. I already know that. <laughs> people are. This is the entire reason why I'm making this tutorial. People want to get that boom sound. <laughs> okay, so this is the folder of stuff that you'd be downloading from our website. It's just got all these different like uh, icons for docs. It's even got my cursor set and actually a, a couple different cursors in here that you can use. And um, it's got a README file right here. So you open up that README file and it gives you all the info that you need to know on my sounds for my Nexus setup. And so like you can just kind of read through this real quick and it shows you the name of the wave files for every single sound on the Nexus one. And then here's the, the name for all the sounds that I used on my Windows setup. So you can just look at that and that will teach you everything that you need to know about my sound scheme and all that stuff. And all the sounds are right here in this folder, sounds. And I think that uh, the digital boom reverb is that, that epic one. Yep, right there. All right, one more time. Love it. I love it so much. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the, the basics behind this. All you really need to do is bring up your sounds and then just go through and customize each one of these sounds. And then when you're done, you can actually go up here to save as and you can actually save it as your own sound scheme. So mine's set to custom modified, I guess I called it. I don't know, I made it forever ago. And it's got some like other sound schemes and such in here too that you can probably like go through and look at if you really want, but uh, we're not gonna get into that. I just kind of showed you the, the basics and just all that you need to know about this. And don't forget that readme file has everything you need to know about my particular sound scheme. So read that and all, and you know, it's pretty much, you know, home free from there. So uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope it was helpful in teaching you guys how to change your own sound scheme. 
Um, so definitely download my sound scheme and my other customizable stuff and try and figure it out. And let me know if you like run into any problems or anything like that and I'll try to help you out the best I can. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I will see you next Tuesday.